Congressman Guy Reschenthaler is now self-quarantining at his home in Peters. He says it's a doctor's recommendation after he was in close contact with a Republican colleague who tested positive for COVID-19. Political editor John Delano just spoke with Reschenthaler. When Congressman Reschenthaler heard on Wednesday that Congressman Louie Gohmert of Texas had COVID, he knew he had a problem. I was in very close, close proximity with Louie Gohmert. In fact, he and I shared a desk because we were rotating desks uh, to, to actually maintain social distancing. I was also in numerous conversations with him, and he and I walked from the uh, from the Capitol building back to our offices in the Cannon office building. By mid-afternoon, the Peters Republican was driving himself home. Out of an abundance of caution, when he tested positive, the House physician told me that I should also, that I should go into quarantine. Reschenthaler says he feels just fine and will conduct work from home and no COVID tests. It would have taken a few days to get the test and then it would have taken several days to get the results of the test. Reschenthaler could miss important relief votes. He supports a second $1,200 check, but opposes extending the $600 a week unemployment benefit. $600 amount in some areas of the country is a problem because individuals are incentivized not to go back to work, which makes it harder for businesses to reopen and to jumpstart the economy. I also asked him about President Trump's tweet on Thursday questioning if the November election should be delayed. I think that's Trump just being Trump. The election is set by Congress, and we're going to have the election on November 3rd. It's been set. We're, we're going to have the election that day. Reschenthaler, of course, is also on the ballot. He is opposed by Democrat Bill Marks of Delmont. As for missing votes, he could vote by proxy, but House Republicans are not exercising that option. But he will report on how he would have voted had he been there. John Delano, KDKA News.